Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackie and I hope you're all having a great day today. And so we are officially on day number 20 of 31 days of Halloween. And today is actually my birthday. So I'm gonna be filming three videos today. So I'm filming this one right now and this will go up right after I film. And then I am going somewhere with my mom and brother tonight. That's gonna be really cool and I think you guys are gonna love it. And then after that, I'm meeting up with Kelsey and we're going somewhere actually haunted. So it's gonna be a fun birthday for me. And then can't forget tomorrow, we're gonna go stay at the hotel. So my brother actually got me this shirt for my birthday. He just gave it to me and I figured I'd wear it. And you can't really tell in this, but it's a crop top. So it's right up my alley. Thank you to everyone who's already sent me birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. Thank you all so much. But what we're gonna be doing today is, I have Samantha right here. So we're gonna try to talk to her for a little bit. And also I'm going to tell a story about what I was doing this time last year. So let's just get straight into the video. So I'm gonna start out by telling the story of where I was this time last year, what I was doing, and the scary story that comes along with it, of course. On this day last year, I was working in a hotel. I'd worked there for two years, I believe. And I worked there all the way up until COVID happened. And then we basically all got furloughed as most people did. And I just so happened to get the van a week before we went on lockdown. So that's kind of how this all started. But, I worked there up until quarantine. So it's still a little sketchy over there. That's why I haven't gone back yet, just because I have a lower immune system than most people. So I'm higher risk for all that, especially working in a hotel, people are coming in and out. It's just not it's technically safe for me to be there every day. Last year on October 20th, I was actually working there on my birthday. I, was, I loved everyone there so much, so I didn't mind it whatsoever. It's like I was just hanging out with friends. So it was super cool. I was hanging out there, whatever. Let me backtrack, actually. I'm working at the hotel. This was in July of 2019. So it wasn't this past summer, but the summer before that. At this point, I was working night shifts. So I'd go in at 4 or 5 p.m. and stay until 12 or 1 a.m. And so it was middle of July, we were super busy. And so this hotel is kind of down by the beach. So it was a lot of people went there to the bar, the restaurant, it was always packed. And the hotel sits right next to a fire station. So we'd always have people calling the fire station for people being too drunk or for whatever reason, they'd come over, do their thing and leave. But this one day I was working, it was a really busy day in July. It was around five or 6 p.m. Everything's going normal. Oh, and let me just say this hotel was a brand new hotel. I started working there a month after it opened. So it was brand new. Nothing had happened there. It was super clean, nice, modern. It was, it's a great hotel overall. And the area I worked in, I was the cashier for the valet. So we had our own little section off at the entrance of the hotel. So I'd always be in there doing the cashier stuff. And one day, the lady who works at the front desk called the valet. So I picked up the phone because I'm the one in there. So I pick up the phone and she's like five feet away from me in her office. So, so I pick up the phone and she says, hey, does anyone know CPR? The fire department's on their way right now, but there's a guest who's unresponsive in their room. We need someone to go up there with security if anyone knows CPR. And I actually do know CPR. I got my EMT license when I just turned 18. So I'm like, okay, like I got it, I can go. And so I started heading up to the room with security and I just thought it was gonna be some young drunk person as always. So when we walk into the room and it's an elderly woman on the ground, I was like, um, well, this is actually more serious than I thought it was. So she's laying there and she has a cut on her head and she's laying on the ground and her husband's there. She's about, I'd say 70 years old and her husband's around 70 or 80 years old. So she's laying there on the ground, unresponsive, and her husband's freaking out, of course. And he's like, I don't know what happened. She was laying in bed. I don't know if she tried to stand up, hit her head and fell down, or if she 
was laying in bed and something happened and she fell out of bed and hit her head on the way down. I'm not really sure what's going on. So we start checking for a pulse and everything and unfortunately there's no pulse whatsoever. So right when we're about to start CPR, the fire department comes rushing in. So we leave, I go downstairs and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is insane. Like I hope everything ends up being okay. And I just kind of waited around for like 30 minutes, no word, nothing going on. And then unfortunately, after 30 minutes, the fire department came down and they had her on the gurney with an oxygen mask and the husband and they got in the ambulance and went up to the hospital. But I later found out that she unfortunately passed away in the room, but an EMT or a firefighter cannot legally log down the time or place of death or anything like that. You have to get to the ho you have to get to the hospital. So once they got to the hospital, the second they got there, they declared it and she actually did pass away in the room. And what ended up happening is she was laying in bed and she ended up just going into cardiac arrest out of nowhere and she fell out of bed and hit her head on the way down. So that didn't really have anything to do with it, but yeah, so unfortunately she did pass away and it was really sad. Then ever since that happened, when I would go up to the specific floor and hallway of where she passed away, there was a really weird feeling. I don't know if it was just me being weird because I knew what would happen up there or if something was actually going on. But I never said anything, of course. And so now October 2019 rolls around and weird stuff starts happening. There'd be weird noises, like I said, a weird feeling, weird phone calls, just all this random stuff. And I never thought anything of it. I was just thinking it's just guests calling for something and then changing their mind. And then it's also a hotel, so there's gonna be noises everywhere. So I didn't really think anything of it until I'm working there on my birthday last year on October 20th. And I was working the late shift last year or I got off at, I was working that day a short shift from 4 to 10 p.m. And it's a Monday, so it was really slow. I'm just hanging out in the key room doing whatever. And on Mondays, there's typically hardly anyone working. So it'd be me, a supervisor, and maybe two valets. So it's pretty low key. There'd be one front desk person, like no guests really on Mondays. So we'd all kind of just hang out. And so I'm in the key room, just chilling, passing time by. It's around nine o'clock. I'm getting ready to leave for the day. And the girl who works at the front desk comes in. She's like, hey, like the police just, the police department just called. Someone made a call on the emergency phone on this floor. On each floor, there's a phone in the hallway in case there's an emergency. You can just pick it up and it dials 911. So she says, hey, like, someone picked up the emergency phone and called the police department but didn't say anything and i was like okay that's weird so when a when a call goes out to them from that phone they immediately call the hotel every time just to make everyone aware they're like hey we got a call we're coming over there so they call the front desk lady they're like hey we just got a call from this phone like have you heard anything what's going on we're gonna come over there right now she's like no i haven't heard anything whatsoever that's weird there's like hardly anyone here right now they kind of deemed it as a false alarm or a malfunction or whatever because there's no signs of anything we all went up there and checked there's nothing there so they deemed it as a malfunction false alarm whatever they weren't going to come so after that a few minutes goes by and then the phone starts ringing to the front desk again. And so on the phones that we had there, when a guest would call the front desk, it would say their name and their room number on the receiver or whatever. This room calls, she sees the room number, she answers the phone and everything. She's like, hello, no one says anything, but she does hear breathing. She stays on the phone for about a minute, no one's saying anything, so she just hangs up and was like, okay, that's kind of weird. Once again, the exact same happens with the phone. So she picks up, same exact thing, no one's talking, just breathing. She hangs up again. I didn't know that this person was calling her whatsoever, so then my phone rings and I answer it, I'm like, valet, can, how can I help you? No one says anything, I just hear breathing, and so I hang up. And then at that point, the front desk lady comes into the key room and is like, hey, like, I'm getting like these weird phone calls, like someone tried to call 911 and now 
this room is calling me. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, oh my gosh, like that same room just called me and didn't say anything either. And so she got one of the security guys and she's like, hey, you want to go up there with him? I'm like, okay, sure, I'll go up there because I was so bored just standing there, nothing going on. So I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll go up there and make sure everyone's okay. Me and the security get together and we start walking down the hallway to go up to this room. So we go up that elevator. So we knock on the door. No one answers. No one says a single word. It doesn't even sound like anyone's in the room. So at this point, there's no do not disturb, so you're able to use your master key. So he takes out his master key, opens the door, the room is brand new, it looks like no one's even staying in there. Everything is perfectly made up, there's no signs of luggage, clothes, literally anything whatsoever. So we're like, okay, this is kind of weird, is this the right room? And so we start going back downstairs, we get down there like, hey, like, no one's in there at all like it looks like no one's even staying in that room and she's like oh that's weird hold on let me check to see who's checked in so she pulls it up literally no one even staying in that room no one's checked into it the room's completely vacant so at that point we're all like what's going on because we all saw the same exact room number and we went back in the call logs it was for sure coming from that room then we were just like trying to figure out what could have happened and so they were gonna go back and look at security footage i don't know what happened with that but at that point i'm standing there and i'm just like looking at this room number on the call log and i swear i go <gasps> and then they were all like what what i'm like oh my gosh do you guys remember the lady who passed away in July was in this room. She was staying in this room. And at that moment, because all three of us were there that day, and at that moment we were like, oh my gosh, that is the room that she passed away in. We started like putting this all together and we're like, oh my gosh, like it kind of makes sense. Like maybe she's stuck in some sort of like loop and she's trying to call for help because she never had the chance to when she was alive that day. So we thought she was trying to call down to us for help and call 911 for someone to help her. So in conclusion, we all kind of thought the same thing that this lady was trying to call us down, call down to us for help. And just like something weird like that because there's honestly no other explanation for it in general. Like the type of hotel, we know everything about this hotel. There's no way possible for this to happen. And so the emergency call was also placed on that floor right next to the door where the lady passed away. So we were all convinced that's what had happened, but I'm not really sure. If anyone has any theories on how this could possibly happen, please let me know. It's just crazy to think about that because it was such like a fun night, kind of like messing around in the hotel, like having these theories but also super sad at the same time because someone lost their life but I just thought I would share that story of what I was doing exactly a year ago today on my birthday. So that's just the short story I wanted to share about the creepy experience I had in the hotel I was working at and since it was a brand new hotel it's like I don't see how anything can malfunction like that and call down to us and just the fact that it was in the same exact room that she passed away, that's kind of like sold it for me. Yep, that's the craziest thing that has ever happened to me there besides crazy people every single day. Let me know if you guys want any of those stories because I have so many stories there. So many stories there. It is insane. Oh my gosh, I just can't. So let me know if you want any actual hotel stories. Okay, so now since we did that, I just want to talk to Samantha just a little bit. This is probably going to be really short because I have some stuff to do today, but I just want to say hi to her. Hi. Samantha, are you here? Hi. Samantha? Yeah. Yes, she is. Samantha, are you excited to see Lola tonight? <laughs> it's my birthday today. I said Lola. Okay, we're gonna hang out with Lola tonight, all right? Samantha, are you happy here? All right, Samantha, I'll talk to you more later, okay? Okay, goodbye. 
Okay, like I said, it was just gonna be super short because I have stuff to do, but I just wanna say hi to her. And I think she said Lola, which is crazy, but. So I think I'm gonna wrap up the video there for today, but the next three videos are gonna be crazy. So make sure you come back for those, but I hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my new videos. Thank you guys once again for all the birthday wishes, but other than that, Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you tomorrow. Peace.